Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how you deal with capacitors in parallel and series. And of course, in this example, there's a combination of them. Some are in parallel, some in series, and how do you solve this? So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to take this whole circuit and replace it by a single capacitor that has the same electrical properties of all those combined like that. How do you do that? Well, in a circuit like this, where the ends of the circuit are like on the one end like this and it kind of goes all the way back, you try to start from the very back and work your way to the front, so to speak. So what you want to do is take a look at these three capacitors right here. And even though they appear to be in parallel, especially the two and the four microfarad one, they actually are all on the same circuit. Any charges going down this direction don't have a choice. They have to go to each of the three uh, capacitors or at least they're electrically connected and so we call this a series circuit so we have to add these three in series replace those three by a single capacitor and of course since there's three of them we can say for that back uh, part of the circuit 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 and since the capacitor sizes are 2, 4 and 8 microfarads we can say that 1 over C total is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. Uh, I can think, I think we can work this out to some extent without a calculator. The common denominator is 8, so 1 over C total is equal to 2 goes into 8 4 times, so that's 4 over 8, plus 4 goes into 8 2 times, that's 2 over 8. And I have, of course we have 1 over 8, so 1 over C total is equal to 7 over 8, which means that C total is equal to 8 over 7. Of course, if we grab a calculator real quick and get a decimal value for that, uh, 8 divided by 7 equals uh, 1.14. 1.14, and of course that would be in microfarads, which means that those three capacitors at the end can be replaced by a single capacitor equal to 1.14 microfarads. So let's redraw the circuit. So now we get, we still have the uh, three microfarads, and the 5 microfarad capacitor, we still have the 1 microfarad capacitor, but now those three have been replaced by a single capacitor equal to 1.14 microfarads. Here's still the 1 microfarad capacitor, we still have the 3 microfarad capacitor, and we still have the 5 microfarad capacitor. All right, so we're taking the last three here and replace it by the single one there. Now, if we take a look at these two capacitors, they're actually connected in parallel. They look like they're in parallel, but they actually are in parallel because from this point right here, from this junction, you can either go this way or you can go that way to get to this junction, which means you have a choice. There's two paths. Two paths means they're in parallel. If they're in parallel, that means we can simply add the two capacitors together. So we can say that C total is equal to C1 plus C2 which in this case is 1 uh, microfarad plus 1.14 microfarads, so that's equal to 2.14 microfarads. We can replace this one capacitor by a single 2.14 microfarad capacitor, and we can now redraw the circuit. We still have the 3 microfarad capacitor, we still have the 5 microfarad capacitor, but those two have now been replaced by a single 2.14 microfarad capacitor. So this was 3 microfarads and this is 5 microfarads. All right, now we're almost done. Notice we now have a single circuit to go from, let's say if this is A and this is B, to go from A to B, there's only one path. One path means those three capacitors are connected in series and if they're connected in series, we're going to use this equation again to find the equivalent capacitance of those three capacitors. So 1 over C total equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3, which means 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2.14 plus 1 over 5 should give you 1 over C total. Now, this one I recommend you grab a calculator. So let's go ahead and work that out with a calculator. So we have 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 2.14 plus 1 divided by 5 equals, now of course that's 1 over C total. To get C total we have to then take the inverse of that. 
And the inverse is C total is equal to, wow, I must have picked my numbers just right. This is purely by accident. It's equal to one microfarad capacitor. That was not planned, by the way. That was just pure coincidence. And so what that means is that this final combination can now be written as a single, and maybe just to kind of keep the, uh, the structure of the circuit the same. So starting from here to there, and back to there, so going from A to B, we now have a single one microfarad capacitor. And if I call this A and B there, maybe that makes things a little bit easier. Call this A and B, like so. So you can now see that this entire circuit, the way it looks here, can be replaced by a single one microfarad capacitor. That's the total or equivalent capacitance of this particular circuit. And that's how you do that problem. All right, now we're going to ante up the challenge a little bit. On the next example, we're actually going to take something like this, maybe a little bit simpler, and apply a potential difference, but like apply a battery to the circuit, so we'll push charges on them, and now you'll have to figure out how much charge is on each capacitor and how much potential difference you have across each capacitor. So that's a little bit more difficult, so stay tuned if you want to know how to do that to the next video and take a look and see how we do that here.